Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. We are on our way to the end, where we're going to kill a dragon. Sound good? Hope it sounds good, because that's what we're going to do. Very slowly. Yep, I'm just going to glide my way over there. Not sure how long that'll take. At least it's a pretty flight. Oh, I see the tower. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that looks like it. And here we are. Hurra! One, two, three, and four. That was scary. Okay. So I want to do a couple of things before we go. First of all, I'm going to put down a bed and set my spawn point. And that way, if for some reason I die, at least I'll come back right here. But if I die, I'm going to need a way to get my stuff back. So I'm going to leave some nether rack here just for pillaring or whatever might be necessary. I don't think any of that's going to be necessary, but we'll see. Let's make sure this is loaded and ready to go. It is. And then I had a really good suggestion. Somebody said, why don't you keep your pig iron matic in your offhand? And that is a really good idea because then I can, you know, be wandering around doing stuff. Is that a... Oh, yeah. Okay. And have whatever tool I need in my hand while it's lighting stuff up. Cool, huh? Oh. Oh. That's cool. I don't need that. All right. I'll come ex explore this place later. <laughs> Am I already lost? How did I do that? There we go. Okay. Yep. Let's make this happen. I see a dragon. Cool. All right. I want to do this first. Just to kind of make sure that I can get at least part of the way up. Yeah. And I'll fly personally. Now I am kind of curious if the dragon is going to try and hurt me. Like, is he going to fly and attack and that kind of thing? Or am I just going to murder him in cold blood? Come at me. Okay. Yep. Sounds like I'm going to be murdering him in cold blood. Well, that's too bad. Also, it looks like the range on this thing isn't quite good enough. Oh, no, he did shoot at me. Oh, I ran. <laughs> right. Okay. So what I want to do is get up nice and high. There we go. Well, I wanted to get up nice and high. So my plan is to get up high and use the glider for the most part. No, that's right. You have to push forward. Okay. As long as I don't take corners too quickly. Like that. Hello, dragon. Yeah, I see he's definitely shooting at me, which is actually a good thing. 
Because there's some things that require dragon's breath as a component. And I kind of want to do those things eventually. All right, so now we need to uh, take out this stuff. Ah! That was brilliant. How did I not take damage from that? That was weird. I expected to. <laughs> I didn't expect to fall through this. That's part of the issue. That is really weird. Why, why am I not taking damage from that? All right, are there any more of these? Were there only two with cages? Looks like it. Excellent. No complaints here. Now it's time to see how much damage these weapons do. Darr. Okay. Mr. Dragon. go. Eh, not too much. Oh, I want to load that. Oh, hey, look, I take damage. <laughs> okay, so he can definitely hurt me. Just not as much as you might expect. mistaken while he's right there he cannot be hurt by ranged weapons at least okay so the amount of damage i'm doing with either one of these is kind of somewhat minimal but at least this one i can get shot off quicker this might take a while i wonder if i can hit him with the ender There we go. Now I've got my sight in. Go. Oh. Thank you for flight. The dragon agrees. Whoa. So it's interesting that he can't directly attack me, but he can. So I wonder. Oh, I can. I can just hit him with a sword. Wow, that was great. Kind of makes me wish I'd brought a better melee weapon. All right, you are almost done, dragon. Whoa. Okay, last shot. Get him. <laughs> Look at all that XP. Yay. Oh, and these epic shader grab bags are for immersive engineering. Beautiful. 65 levels. That'll, yeah, that'll work for a while. <laughs> so, a few things about the end. First of all, you've noticed all these guys around. These are Ender Lilies. And 
you need ender pearls for things here. As a matter of fact, right over there, we're going to be throwing an ender pearl through that. But these are also handy because you notice we're getting ender lilies, and ender lilies will actually give you. Um, they're basically a seed that you can grow more ender pearls. So we don't have to use emeralds to make ender pearls anymore. So the other thing I want to do is get the egg. So let's punch it first, which will make it teleport. Where did it teleport? I thought it went this way. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no, it's just over there. Those trails went the wrong direction. Okay. And I just realized that I need one of these. Come on. Come on. Okay, fine. Oh, wait. I have some here. <laughs> We're okay. So there's a couple of different ways to get the egg. And uh, this is one of them that I just discovered recently, actually. I used to use a, a piston with a lever, but the egg drops like sand or gravel. So, ta-da! So now I've got myself a dragon egg. Yay! Oh, also, do be careful with these ender lilies, because if you step on them when they're fully grown... They hurt. So, just be aware. All right, let's head up there. Eh, good enough. We just need to be able to throw a pearl through this, so. And there we go. Welcome to the outer end, I think. Something like that. I'm not actually sure what it's called. But around here, we should be finding end cities. I'm not seeing any. Or towers or something. Also, these things are cool. Chorus plants. I think there's some things we can use these for. A blinking conveyor upgrade. Pemmican? Hmm. Mince pie, <laughs> fruit salad, fruit punch, fruit crumble, fruit, it's apparently a fruit, and chorus fruit soup. That's not exciting. And then popped chorus fruit. I think there's several ways to make that. And then using popped chorus fruit, we can make purr purr blocks and rods. And actually, if we can find some end rods, that'd be great. But end rods also can make various different things. Uh, like the quantum quarry ac um, actuator, which we might make a, a quantum quarry. That's hard to say. Quantum quarry. We might make one of those in the near future. Also, before we go too far, I want to actually make a mark on my map with this. Um, yeah, so map doesn't work in the end. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see if we can find ourselves an end tower or something. Lots and lots of chorus fruit plants, but not so much in the way of, like, structures. There we go. Finally, something. Okay, I don't want to just, like, fly up to this thing. 
I actually want to enter in through the bottom and kind of experience it. Now, my question is, will these guys shoot at me? So these are shulkers. Okay, so they'll open up, but they won't actually shoot at me. Oh, I can just kill you this way. <laughs> I just got the achievement Monster Hunter, because that's actually the first monster that I've killed. Because it's peaceful, theoretically. But I'm not getting anything from them. Maybe I only get something if they're open when I kill them. Or maybe I won't get anything from these guys. I'm not sure. I'm glad I don't have to parkour my way through these. Blah, blah, blah. These things are a pain. No, I'm not getting anything from them. I mean, besides XP. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about it then. I'm gonna get some of these guys. There are a few things you can do with these. Don't need a ton of them, but hey. You guys are funny. Hey, hey. Ooh, what do we find? Beetroots. And an iron shovel with mending. I really don't need the iron. I don't know why I'm taking that. But I'll take the rest. Ooh, shulker soul vials. Yes, please. And a dark bow. Why not? Diamond boots. K. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, we'll actually be getting some ways to disenchant things as well as deconstruct things. So we may be able to actually turn those diamond boots into diamonds. Nope. Oh, what the? There's just stuff just floating here. That's interesting. And more stuff. I think initially there was like a chest here, but it got removed to replace to place down a shulker or something. Let's see what else we can find. Lots of shulkers. These things are so annoying if you're not in peaceful mode. <laughs> they shoot stuff at you, and that stuff makes you, like, float up, and you can't control your height. It just, it, like, it just kind of makes you float around. Like like the fizzy drinks from um, Willy Wonka, which were really cool until you got to, you know, the big fan at the top of the room and were about to be chewed into pieces. Or you, you know, fall to your death. Okay, we got to the top of this. Okay, so the real main reason I'm here is actually to get to that ship there. But I think there's actually, like, an official way you're supposed to get there. So I kind of want to see what that's about. So this is the way we came in. I want my XP's. This is new, right? Yeah, I haven't been here. Ooh, more diamonds, emeralds, gold. Oh, beetroots. Another dark bow. Frost walker? I've never even heard of frost walker. That's interesting. What is this? Frostwalker 2. Huh. I have a theory on what that does. Does it turn ice below your feet? Sorry, does it turn water below your feet into ice? It's possible. Ooh. Ooh. An ender chest. Nice. Oh. I forgot that ender chests just... 
You have to have Silk Touch if you actually want to pick them up. Oh well. Okay, where is that ship? There it is. I'm gonna drop down to this. Oh, it's halfway up. Okay. <laughs> I've always wondered like what the normal way to get to these ships is, and I guess it's probably just a pillar across. But not for me. I'm gonna fly. Now, if we're lucky, ooh, a brewing stand with two potions of healing. That's cool. Yeah. So that right there is haha, an elytra. And we can use the elytra and add it to our dark armor. And it's really handy. Hi, you're going to be really annoying, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill you. Hey, I actually did get a shulker shell. Nice. Okay, let's put some stuff away. Like my elytra. There. Now I got plenty of room. Oh, good grief. That's a lot of iron. I really don't need that. But I'll take the dark bow and the diamond chest plate. And more dark bows. So what else might be in this ship? Is that it, though? That might have been it, actually. Oh, besides, hang on. The dragon head. How, how does one remove the dragon head? Whoa. I want the dragon head. Ah, I did get it. Yay. The dragon head is cool because you can actually wear it. <laughs> So cool. I'm not going to, though. It's just cool. That's all. Perfect for, uh, you know, Halloween or a costume party. Yep. Love the Elytra. So much faster. And I can use it in conjunction with the ring without having to turn it off and on again. It's much better than the glider from the uh, um, other thing. Hey, here we go. This is how we get home. And you can use like swooping mechanics and stuff. So, you know, if you aim up You'll slow down, but then if you, like, drop, you'll let... You get the idea. <laughs> I'm not going to try and say it. Yay! Hey. There we go. Got to get enough momentum going. All right, let's head home. And skip the end credits. Though I do recommend watching them at least once. Okay, and we didn't need any of this stuff. Yay. You know what? I'm going to leave this stuff here because it's not important. Oh, the elytra is so much better than the glider wings. took so much less time to get home. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay, that hurt. Face plant into the wall. Okay, let me put some stuff away. Okay, let's make this happen. So I made myself some dark plate to combine with the elytra, but it won't combine with a damaged elytra. So we need to fix the elytra, and it's going to take two of these. And then I'm going to need 10 levels. Sweet. And I want to... <laughs> I love the bright red text. That means flying as if an elytra was equipped, not creative flight. <laughs> yeah, I don't want creative flight. I really don't. It's not as fun. Vibrant crystals plus four, or crystal plus four. So let's get four levels. By the way, if you're curious, 65 levels, I think that's what I had, is enough to almost fill an entire drum of liquid XP. It's very nice. All right, so now we need eight and the basic capacitor. And then 12 and the double layer. Beauty. So let's charge that puppy up. We're going to chuck this guy. And I want to charge everything else up too. So now let's put this other old armor away. By the way, I had to make a second chest because it was filling up. This is all magic stuff that I want to disenchant. Well, possibly. So, But we're going to get into disenchanting at, a, at another time. I want to do a little elytra flying. Oh, there we go. Okay, you don't get the elytra sounds. That's not as cool. But you do get the elytra flight, which is what I wanted. Fly up. And then dive bomb, go forward, get some more height. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. So cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> I could fly like this forever and still just keep on flying. I, I love this. So much fun. Ah. <laughs> really need to work on not face planting though. Okay, well, I think that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We have gotten a lot done. We defeated the dragon, and we found an elytra, and all kinds of fun things. So we've got a lot to do next episode. But for today, the only thing left to do is hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, the alarm bell, come by the Discord server, check out my Patreon page, and volunteer in a food kitchen for the homeless. That's right. Why not? You got some spare time, and I'm sure there's one near you that could really use some help. As a matter of fact, you don't have to do any of that other stuff if you just do that. I'd be okay with that. You just don't even bother thumbs upping or subscribing or any of those things. Just go help somebody at a, at a homeless shelter, and we'll just call it even. And then on the next episode, you can subscribe and thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. Fair enough? Good. In that case, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. I'll just be here flying until you're back. We. Ow.